Hello, everyone, and welcome back to RCRC. That is the Relationship Connection with Ronald and Charlie. I am Charlie Willis, a mental health therapist. I'm Ronald Willis, a marriage and family therapist. And today we're looking at two words okay. <laughs> that are often, con we have some confusion with these words. We may uh, make them out the same. And those words are what, Charlie? I don't know what to <laughs> what two words. Yeah. They are secrecy and oh. privacy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Secrets and privacy. <laughs> privacy, yeah. Mm. So so we're looking at, at uh, uh, what, are the, what is the difference, right? Okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And because often we are, we interchange those words. We do, we do. And so let's look at our clip and see what the clip says. Ronald. Ronald, wake up. Wake up. Oh, man. What you want, Charlie? You still sleeping here. Yeah, okay, whatever. We need to I'll talk. I'll take a nap. Ronald, we need to talk. There's other things that are more important than you napping right now. Oh, man, this has got to be bad. We need to talk, man. Can't you ever come up with something else, man? No. Call it. Call it. I can't. You got something you want to tell me? You got let's something see. you need to tell me? All right, let's see. I need to tell you. I want to go back to sleep. Ronald, That's what I need to tell you. I'm being serious with you right now. I think if there's something that you need to tell me, that you should be telling me, that you should tell me right now. Why are you playing this game? I'm not playing a game with you, Ronald. Yeah, then if you got something to say, say it then. Don't ask me, do I need something to tell you? I'm trying to dang take a nap and stuff, man. I'm tired. Shoot. So, well, then I'll help you out. You want to tell me about this daughter of yours? What? Daughter. Do you have a child that I am not aware of? Where do you get that from? Where I get it from? Yeah. Uh, your email. You went through my email? Ronald, I went in there looking for you. That's my privacy, Charlie. You shouldn't be going through my email. Ronald, there's nothing private in this home. It is. I have a right to privacy just like you do. It was open. That don't mean you read it. So, so you want I me to go through it. your stuff? Let's, if your purse laying around open, wide open stuff, you want me to go through your purse? I ain't got nothing to hide. Do you want me to go through your purse? I have nothing to hide. Answer the question. Yeah, you want me to yeah, go through, you your go through my purse because I don't have nothing to No, you to don't. Hide. You want me to go through your purse. You already said that. A man can't be going through a woman's purse. Well, that's, that's your true. privacy. So I respect your privacy and I expect for you to, to respect my privacy. Ronald, okay, enough of all that with the privacy stuff. It's more serious things that we need to talk about. Like, what is going on? Why? Haven't you told me about this? What happened? I need facts. I, I need some truth. I need some answers and I need it right now. Hello? Oh, man. God, talk it. This is before you, Charlie. What? Don't what me like that. I know all about, I know the children before you. I know about all the children before you. And this one wasn't included. And then the nerve, you you sending money? This this is crazy. You you got some explaining to do. But it had nothing to do with you. What do you I, mean? just, I just found out a, a couple months ago. Yeah, you already said uh, a couple of months plus more in finances. That that that's not that's not even adding up. You know what? Now that I think about it, that's not even adding up. You want to tell me what's really going on, or do you want me to call her? Because I read got the, the freaking phone email. Number. You read the freaking email. I got a phone you, number. You, freaking, you read the freaking email. You tell me. You tell me what's going on since you uh, don't trust anybody and going through people's stuff. People should be hiding stuff. Well, maybe you don't need to know that. 
Okay, fine. It has nothing to do, do with you. You don't. You ain't the mother. All right. Got it. How about I go ask the mother then? No, go ask the mother. Then. I will. Good luck with that. What? Good luck with that. Okay. We we'll find out. I'll let you know when I get back. The clip said what, Charlie? <laughs> the, the clip said that Ronald was keeping secrets. He was keeping a big secret. And it also says that Charlie invaded, interrupt, <laughs> you know, my privacy. He went through my email. And yeah, that's my privacy. As explained in the skit. It was open, so I didn't go through it. It's the well, difference. Like I said in this skip, skip, skip. When, when, uh, if your pocketbook is open, that doesn't give me the right to start going through it. No, but you will look in it if you see. I try not to look in your pocketbook. I know, but if because it, you have told me that hey, a woman's pocketbook, a man don't go through that. That's so right. I try that's to right. Respect that. That's Privacy right. is about respect. That is so right. if you see my email open, respect me by not reading it. I hear you. So um, that, that was a big secret to carry. <laughs> it's a big secret to carry. But anyway, before we uh, finish right. this. Before we go any further, <laughs> we want you to know we are here to equip, empower, and educate couples on how to thrive in their relationships. How? Through candid conversations right here on this platform. And don't forget to help support this ministry by making a contribution to our cash app at first focus faith and if you watch it by youtube like comment share subscribe do it all because we, we need, need it all. all all right now let's continue with this big secret this big this big private secret private secret <laughs> so yeah so is there such a thing and um, now that's on one arm the privacy um that exists in a couple uh, when you're living in the same home and then there's something one that that's it's totally different to me, this the secret is when you don't want somebody to know something, and you didn't want me to know about that child. <laughs> so I had to go ask old girl because you would have told ask, me about ask it. Old girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, but it did uh, did involve you, uh, uh, you know, crossing boundaries uh, of my privacy. Okay? So I invaded your privacy and found out a secret. That is correct. That's the skit in a nutshell, right? Because it's, it's more about the secrecy and less about the privacy. Okay? It's more about the secrecy. But we, will, we don't want to get twisted and think they are the same. And that's why we want to highlight these particular two words to ensure that you don't think uh, you are having a, a something that's private. And it's really a secret. Yes, yeah, so I know I said earlier, and we kind of threw it around like it was the same but they are markedly different. They are markedly different. So what is privacy, Charlie? Okay. All right. So privacy is having a healthy right to keep some things to self. Mm, and what is, that right. sounds like a secret to me. Uh, it does, doesn't it? I'm well. I'm keeping some things to myself, right? And um, they're healthy for me. A healthy right. A healthy right. Okay. So what is secret then? I'm thinking it's secrecy. Okay. Here it is. Uh -huh. Secrecy, withholding information with the intent to hide the truth. So when you go back to privacy, you said a healthy right. Right. Okay. So if it's not healthy and it's harmful, could it be on the borderline of you keeping a secret? It could. That's why they sometimes they, they're often interchanging and they look just alike. And so... Definitely want to understand that. And, you know, uh, privacy is different in each relationship. Right. You know, so I'm, so I'm going to give out some of my things that, you know, that I hold kind of dear uh, in our relationship. Uh, and one is. Uh, do tell. Do tell. Do tell. So uh, I have uh, my tools, right? That's privacy for me. You know, I don't want anyone touching my tools and, and, and messing with my tools. If, if you need a tool, I want you to come ask me for the two and not go get the two because oftentimes you know tools get a get misplaced 
<laughs> so how are you? So it cut is so it upsets me. So so I want somebody to respect their privacy. It's my it's in no other other words, it's my stuff. So don't touch my stuff. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You shut down, man. <laughs> Complete silence, y'all. Like, I have no response to that. I was that. thinking about your yeah. statement. Right, because um, and so it come from my past, right? Okay, mm-hmm. so I grew up with just me and my brother and my grandmother raised us, and we didn't touch each other's stuff. Okay. Whatever his stuff was his, I didn't touch his, he didn't touch mine, I didn't touch my grandmother, we didn't touch any, 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 any of them. That is a very good point you make. Right. Because if I grew up in a home with a big family and we right. just uh, community the, share yeah. <laughs> certain things, because I've I seen it with with you, yeah, and, and, I'm and a I see community share is fine. Where the kids come in your closet and get your clothes and they just come on out, I was like, what? No, something. No, 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 no. Hundred percent, you don't do that to me. Asking is is, is the big. right. Because I feel like if you do that, do that to me is you being disrespectful and you're not respecting my privacy. Okay. Okay. But I'm pretty sure out there, there's something else um, they hold um, as yeah, everybody's different. As being what's your, what's one of your private, yours? Something that I feel like it's privacy. Yeah. I, um, maybe it's your purse. Is that it? No, not really, because I'm not. Oh, so I can go in your purse? No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> so but it's like, um, I don't know. Maybe if I'm. Um, if I'm doing something and maybe I'm writing something and you just, you know how people just kind of look and want to yeah. see, I don't like that. Yeah, because like some people may have a diary. Mm-hmm. And that's privacy. They, they're yeah. really not trying yeah, to share that. Uh, they're trying to hope, uh, uh, keep that to, for themselves, right? Mm-hmm. And it's healthy, right? And it doesn't harm the relationship in any kind of way and stuff. So the, 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 a, a diary could be one of, one of those things. That's right. Because yeah. well, you will hold some private items there in your diary so do you have a diary i do not <laughs> all right then and so it seems like most most uh women have diaries um they don't call the diaries are for children um oh, as what we, they call okay <laughs> all right then what are they called as, excuse me as we grow older into adulthood um sure. some may journal yeah. yeah things of that nature but Still yeah a anyway so yeah so markedly so, um those are some differences there. Yeah, so, so let's look at the difference and stuff, right? And then we'll kind of uh, conclude with really where you want to be at in your relationship. Yeah, with, right. Because if the, I'm with trying to topic. withhold the truth, right. like you did, um, yeah. Right. That that was bad. You know, I, I, that that was definitely a secret. You know, I didn't want Charlie to know and stuff, right? And what what made it even worse uh, is that you know, not only uh, I, I got a daughter out there, right, according to Skip. I'm also providing uh, financial support. And so that, you know, uh, anytime you look at finances, right, you know, finances should be shared. There should be no secret. You know, if something comes up and you're like, well, I thought you had uh, money for this. Uh, where's your money going at? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, so that's harmful to the relationship. Okay. And so that's definitely a secret and that's definitely not privacy. Right. I, I will do. I will agree. Yeah, going through the email may, may may have been privacy, but you know, withholding that information, right, mm-hmm. is definitely a secret, uh, secrecy because you know I, I don't want to reveal the truth. Yeah. yeah, and for and then if it was before our relationship, as you stated, why not say it? Well, because I discovered it during our relationship. Shame. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> All right, so let's look at let's look let's look at the, the, the difference and let's look at uh, 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 privacy first, Charlie. So what's what's one of the things uh, uh, that makes this uh, situation uh, uh, privacy versus uh, secrecy? All right, so one of the things you want to look at is personal boundaries. Okay, so let me just go ahead and read the scripture that we've highlighted for this. Um, it's the Amplified uh, Version, Proverbs twenty five seventeen, and it states. Let your foot seldom be in your neighbor's house, or he will become tired of you and hate you. Oh, that's harsh. Right, because you, you cross some boundaries. And, uh, you know, it, it's definitely, uh, as a person, you want to uh, establish boundaries, right? Mm-hmm. But there's some things you don't really have to say, and you know there are boundaries. 
you know, uh, for example, the purse is, is, is a boundary because culturally speaking in the United States, men don't go and women purse. So you don't really have to tell me that. I already know that. OK. And so uh, if, if, I, if I continue to do that, then that, that might create some negative feelings for you toward me. Yeah, but there are also some things that I feel that I shouldn't have to ask. Like, um, are you made your you made your statement known about your tools? But um, you're like, I wanted to wear one of your ties one day, and <laughs> yeah, that's another. I know, for me I also. know the type of person that you are. So I, Why I you put an emphasis. On you are. are. So I made sure I asked. No, I think once you didn't ask, I, I, I was looking at my ties. So somebody been moving my ties. Oh yeah, I didn't ask. That's yeah. right, you did not. That's another. That's go, going with the same thing I said earlier about you know growing up, we didn't we didn't touch uh, each other things. Okay. You know, my, I didn't touch my brother. But what if you wanted to wear something of mine? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say you got dresses. <laughs> what did <else> you got? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, I don't think so. <laughs> but I would, I would like to have to ask, and then you know, I, I kind of got a little, some some of the OCD going on, not not wholeheartedly completely. So when stuff is moved. <laughs> I, I can see <laughs> that. Right, I can see that. That's no this quarter of been messing with my ties, right? Itch. Right, because you know I, I I have stuff in a kind of organized ways, and so when I look looking for things, uh, I can easily find it or get to it and stuff. Right, so when it's moved, uh, uh, adjusted, I was like, wait a minute, something is wrong here. I just knew you weren't gonna pick it. <laughs> no. and so you know that's, but I don't think you wholeheartedly know that about me because I don't think I, I have to share that with right. you. Right, I, I don't know, you know the background. It, it, it but, was you know, know. it's three of us growing up, and, and it wasn't a big family. And so there was not a lot of sharing things, right? I got my stuff, you got your stuff. Don't touch my stuff, and I won't touch your stuff. Right, 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 right. Okay. All right. So what's, what's another one? Now? All right. Yeah. So how about maintaining one's um, individuality? Ooh, this is right? huge to understand. This is the foundation of privacy for me. Go ahead. So Charlie. can we respect each other for their uniqueness? Like for me, like I thought, really, when I got the tie, that it shouldn't have been a problem. But me knowing how you are, can I respect that I can't just go and borrow a tie or anything without asking? Accent, respecting, okay, my husband is different from me and I'm gonna respect the difference, okay? We're using the word uh, uh, indiv 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 individuality. individuality. Okay, some uniqueness going on, so I don't. I want to respect that because we're not the same. Okay, but but I want to pull this in right because sometimes we get caught up in a relationship so much that we lose ourselves in it. Right, that's right. We make it so much we that we leave me out of it. I don't like and that. You can't leave me out of the relationship. I gotta have my own thing going on. That's right. So okay. that's an individuality that needs to be in the relationship so you can be who you are. And you you by yourself is not the relationship, okay? Mm -hmm. And so you need some of you in the relationship to make it the relationship. All right. So Ephesians two ten. This is the, um, from the King James Version. Says, "For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them." And so I, I really want to highlight the word workmanship and some uh, other versions that use masterpiece and stuff, yeah. right? And and that makes us uniquely individuals that God has created. And we want to respect each other for our uniqueness and, and our individuality in the relationship and not try to make everything out of we. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Before we go to our next point. Let's Commercial take, break. That's right.
All right, we're back from the commercial break, and then we, we're looking at the two words, privacy and secrecy, and ensuring that we understand the difference between them. Secrecy is normally the, the, the uh, uh, withholding information with the intent to hide the truth, and then privacy is having a healthy right to keep some things to yourself, and currently we're looking at uh, privacy. All right, all right. So our third point here, having your own private life, um, and what is that? <laughs> well, when we say having our own private life, we're talking about like, um, you know, friends, you know, going out yeah, with your friends, twisty, um, doing some self-care, going getting your nails done or what have you, uh, your own private time, prayer time with God, Just you right. know, in your own secret place. That's a great secret place. But um, that's pretty much. Right. Because you, you don't want your own private life with the secret. Mm -hmm. Okay. In other words, although this is a private life for you, your spouse should know about that. You know, you know, uh, I know when you're going to get your nails done, right? We should know each other. Oh, well, I'm going to have my prayer time with God and stuff, right? We should know these things are going on and respect that. And that's part of the first point. In the second point is the personal boundaries and having the individuality into the relationship. Yes. Okay. And so that we're not, uh, what is that word? Uh, connected to the hips 24 7. We can't be disconnected and stuff, right? I know we're trying to make a connection, but that doesn't that that that, that does not leave me out of this relationship. There's some me in there that is, that does not include we. Hmm. To me, that does not include we. That's right. All right. <laughs> so on the other spectrum, let's talk about those secrets. Uh oh, y'all keep it out there, man. Mm -hmm. All right. The first thing we think of, or we should be thinking of, when we're keeping secrets is. We're being dishonest. You lying. <laughs> you lying. Okay, you trying to keep it, but you you lying and stuff. And then another thing about being dishonest and but keeping this. Some will say, I didn't lie, I just didn't state it. That's that's being deceitful, which is a lie. Okay, you can try to twist it around and try to make it out something else. It's just being dishonest. If you don't want to use the word lie, it's just be dishonest then. Okay. And then uh, the other thing that comes into play with the secret, if if something uh if the subject comes up, right? Okay. You're going to meet or try to manipulate. You can try to change the subject stuff, right? Okay. You know, because the subject came up about uh, the, the yeah. email, right? Yeah. Okay. I didn't talk about it. I talked about my privacy. And I really tried to, try to stay there, try to manipulate the conversation and make it about my privacy. But this conversation was not about my privacy. It was about my secret. Yeah. That's right. When you asked the question, I didn't answer you. No, you didn't. No, I do not. I don't want to answer you. I want to keep my secret. Okay? And when I do that, I'm being dishonest. Okay? You almost can't keep a secret without lying about it. That is true. That's right. What the word said. All right. Oh, let's just go to the next point. All right. Next point. Next point we're talking about is misleading. So let me read the scripture. Luke 12, 3. This is the NLT version. Whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be shouted from the house tops for all to hear so i was thinking will be heard will be seen yeah other way it's coming out it's it's What's something about the secret they, they have a way of being manifested oh yeah eventually and the manifestation is not based on your desire because <laughs> you want to keep it a secret but it has a way of materializing and then when it comes out it's not good it is bad and your partner looking at you like why are you holding this secret from me and now it's hurtful so were there good intentions with keeping this secret about the child from me okay help help out views out do you see any good intentions? i'm asking because you don't want that kept the secret yeah the, i mean i kept the secret but i don't it was a, it's a good it's good intent for me on a selfish platform, mm. of course, right? Because I don't, I don't want you to know. So I'm feeling good that you don't know. I, I don't have to tell you about this side of me. Mm -hmm. I don't. But think about this, right? If I got a daughter out there, right, and it's confirmed I got a daughter, and I'm gonna try to spend time with her. I, I don't even keep that a secret. I don't know what right. else. So then, if I try to, keep, I'm thinking about if it, I try to spend time with her, I'm gonna keep that a secret. Yeah. I'm going to secretly go visit her and spend time with her without you knowing because I'm trying to keep this secret. In other words, right, I'm just keep digging this hole, making it worse. And yeah. so if, I, if I'm going somewhere, right, I'm being accountable, I got to tell you where I'm going at. 
So I don't, I don't want to tell you I'm going, going to, time to spend, uh, spend time with my daughter. I'm not going to say that. So then I'm going to lie. Right. I think it's now it's time for us to do the, the, the 360 app. <laughs> the 360 app. All right. Oh. You got to see where you at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and the secret is destroying trust. Yep. That is true. That's so right. That's destroy trust. All right, so our third point here is motiv motivated by shame and fear. Yeah. Shame is feeling bad about something one has done, and fear is being afraid of the response. And so the, the, the foundation of the secret is based on this motivation, mm -hmm. okay? Because I don't want you to know. I have some shame about it. Okay, so therefore I don't want you to know. And then the other one, I'm scared. I am scared of your response. Fear drives um, drives a lot. It's, it's big into why we even keep a secret or or even initiate keeping you know having a secret. So um, not unless we, um, I would think the fear be taken out unless I'm doing something I want to do. Like if somebody was sneaking out on you, they're doing something they want to do. But they're cheating on you and sneaking out, and sneaking out on you. That's right. Wait, where, where, where the fear at now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know these secrets are are are, are, are motivated by this, and some you know are purpose purposely done by by the person, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For yeah. example, cheating and infidelity. That I'm purposely doing that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but I'm still feeling bad about something I have done because I know that this particular act will hurt you. So I'm feeling bad about that, right? Right. And of course, I'm gonna fear your response because you're not gonna respond in a positive way mm -hmm. if I tell you this or you discover this. Right. Yeah, so my secret is motivated by those two components. Definitely, definitely. All right, so let's let's wrap this up because our time is almost yes, up, Charlie. Yes, this time is almost up. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to read what I got down. I don't like to read for the most part, but I want to read this right because this is going going against something I've always said. And Charlie going to hear this and like, wow, what's oh going on? Goodness. So the goal in this situation, when we understand this secret, secrecy and privacy, right, is, is not, is to have a me, we, in me concept. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, before this, I was really on a platform, the we concept, right? We concept, we concept, but now I have, I have shifted. Woo. It's the me, me in we concept. Mm. Me, we, and me concept. It's all of us in this because this helps maintain us having the individuality in our relationship. If I totally go with the we concept, we lose that. And we cannot lose ourselves in this relationship. So we must have some privacy in our relationship that 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 we don't necessarily share that with our partner, but it doesn't hurt hurt our partner by not sharing this information. We cannot have the secrets of secrecy in our relationship because that destroys and hurts the relationship. And secrecy is based on being dishonest. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you guys again for joining us and we'll see you again next week. For another exciting episode of RCRC, the Relationship Connection with Ronald and Charlie. Bye-bye.